Hey guys, welcome to Meals with Maria. I'm filming from a friend's house today. I'm watching uh, a friend of ours kid and really want to get this video up. So I wanted to film my intro now. So that's why I'm in a different location. Um, today I have for you two $5 dinners. They're so good. They actually both happen to be in the crock pot. Don't mind the kids in the background. They're having a great time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to share these with you. They're super, super good. We have a taco chili type thing as well as a pulled chicken sandwich, which is both to die for. So cannot wait to share these with you. Also want to say, I know you guys are always checking in on how I'm feeling, how I'm doing. I'm 18 weeks pregnant today. I'm feeling so much better. Loving the second trimester. Struggle with headaches a little bit. Definitely still have the fatigue. So that's why I'm not putting out as many videos, but I'm going to at least try and get one a week from now on and see if we can ramp up more as I get more energy. So without further ado, here are the amazing recipes. So the first recipe is labeled as a taco salad. It's like a Frito smothered taco salad, but honestly, it's really more of a taco chili. So the recipe calls for one yellow uh, onions diced, and I didn't have one of those, so I just used what I had in my fridge, which is a red onion. And if you wanted to, you could absolutely just use onion powder. So that could save a significant amount of money just by using onion powder that you already have on hand. But it's my recommendation just to use, you know, whatever you have, make it work. It's still going to taste delicious. Then I have a pound of ground beef. I got this on sale. I always buy my ground beef on sale for about $2 a pound or less. That's my goal and I try and get a lot of it. So then I'm just cooking it in the pan with the onions until browned. And now I'm just adding everything into my crock pot while my beef cooks. So I have one eight ounce can of tomato sauce that comes in at like 38 cents. One can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, which is I think comparable to Rotel. And then two cans of pinto beans, which I got at Aldi for 99 cents. So, so far we're looking at about $2 on the meat and 40 cents on the tomato sauce and 99 cents on the beans. And I think that the uh, Rotel tomatoes at Aldi are less than a dollar as well. And then I'm using this fun little technique to get the grease out of the pan here. I have wrapped some tongs in a paper towel and I find that tongs are the best to do this because you can actually like grab onto the paper towel with the tongs. And then I'm just putting that into my meat and this is a great way to sop up the extra uh, fat without having to pour it into a uh, mug or something like that in order to make sure that it doesn't get it down your drain. So you just want to add a half a cup of water and then I have a 38 cents packet of taco seasoning also from Aldi and you just want to add that in there. And that is all the ingredients for your uh, chili type mixture and it's pretty inexpensive and delicious. So you just want to mix everything up, cook it really well, make sure that the taco seasoning is well incorporated, and then you can actually just pour this right into your crock pot along with everything else, and that's pretty much it. It's set it and forget it from here. So you can just mix everything up, and you want to set this on either high for three to four hours or low for six to eight. Here's what everything looks like when it's mixed together before I cook it. And then I actually cooked mine on low for six hours. And here is what it looks like once it is finished. And you can see everything is kind of cooked together more, well incorporated. And this was absolutely delicious. The whole family loved it. So you just put these into bowls. And then the key to this is at this point, I think we spent about $4.50. And at Aldi, you can get these corn chips for about 72 cents I think so you're a little bit over five dollars but just top it off with these delicious corn chips and this ends up being amazing so I did have some extra stuff on hand so if you have that you can add to it I had some cilantro some shredded cheddar cheese and sour cream which you can get at Aldi for 89 cents so these are things that can make it a little bit more expensive but they can also add something to your dish I'll tell you that with just the Fritos it's absolutely fine and amazing I know that for my kids I can get them to eat chili if I put enough sour cream in it <laughs> pretty much if you put uh, sour cream or ranch dressing on anything it is a go in my family <laughs> so it tasted so so good with the Fritos and then I also I always try it for you guys like the original way and then I added some stuff and it tasted really really good that way too you can see that Tommy really enjoyed it 
So the next recipe is a pulled chicken. So I bought this entire container for $1.69 a pound and I'm just going to open it up. I always try and buy these larger containers of chicken. I'm going to grab two of these chicken breasts, which is about a pound, and then I'm going to put the rest in the freezer so that I can save it for something else. For our family, about a pound of chicken is plenty. And then I'm using this Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Now the Berman's from Aldi is only a dollar. So if you use a dollar sixty nine chicken and then a dollar barbecue sauce and the Berman's is just fine. I think it tastes delicious and I think it's quite com comparable to the Sweet Baby Ray's. I just happen to have the Sweet Baby Ray's still left in my fridge, so I wanted to use it. So you put one cup of barbecue sauce and two of these large chicken breasts, and you can see I didn't even trim them. You don't have to. It turned out fine. You can if you want to. And then I cook this on low for six hours, but you can do low for six to eight or high from three to four. And then in the meantime, I made something a little extra. So the chicken just by itself was amazing. That's basically what my husband ate. He just wanted to eat the chicken. And then you can buy buns from Aldi for 85 cents. So you're like way under $5 on this meal, which is absolutely incredible. I wanted to do a little coleslaw too. So to add something extra, I am making a coleslaw from, it's called like Pound Dropper. Now I'm not using the healthy things that they said to use, but you want to add in four tablespoons of mayonnaise to your package of coleslaw mix. So it's like 16 ounces and you can use light or regular. So I just use regular, but light would make it a healthier option. And then again, sour cream, you could also use some low fat Greek yogurt or you can use light sour cream. So two tablespoons of sour cream. And then I'm using regular Olive Garden Italian dressing. You could use the Aldi knockoff. You could use light Italian dressing. That's what the recipe calls for, light Italian dressing. I just didn't have it. So two tablespoons of this. Then we're going to add our seasoning. So we're going to add a half a tablespoon of cider vinegar and then one tablespoon of sugar. And again, you can use a sugar substitute. That's absolutely possible for you if you have like a monk fruit or something like that. And then half a teaspoon, a tablespoon of salt, and then just like an eighth a tablespoon of uh, pepper. And you want to mix all of this up and put it in your fridge and you can just let it cool. So I made this a little bit earlier in the day. You can see that I you know, changed, got ready for the day and then um, made this and then put it in the fridge. So I kind of like mine like to be a little marinated, but you could probably do it for like a half hour and it would be absolutely fine. It was so delicious. And so it's awesome because you can make a healthy option. And so this is what the chicken looks like when it's finished. And you can tell that it's done because it basically just breaks apart. So you just want to pull that apart with forks or if you have like some, you know, fancy chicken pullers, you can do that. I don't know. It always says to do it outside of the uh, crock pot, but I just do it in there because it works fine. And so those are my hamburger buns from Aldi. And I'm just going to serve the chicken either on the bun with some coleslaw or you could add cheese to this too. On the bun like this is absolutely perfect divine absolutely love it and then add in a little coleslaw and you're just like way over the top so you're looking at a way under five dollar dinner my kids want to eat it separate they just eat chicken so so i thank you guys so much for watching today i appreciate you all so much i'm going to put a link to some other five dollar dinners here and i will see you guys soon